Welcome, people. Thank you for making it here. Uh, today, I would love to talk with you and to show this one page that I create just for this occasion. And uh, it's how art can change your life. But to start saying that, I should first present myself and say how art changed my life. Uh, my name is Daniel Dominguez Jimenez. I'm a Spanish guy, actually Catalan. I come from a really small, small town, but I always say that I'm from Barcelona. And now I'm here since three years in Rotterdam, uh, studying at Coders. And long time ago, I was saying I was a dancer, but now I consider myself a mover. And it's there when I start dancing that my journey into this artistic world uh, start. And the story begins when I was three years old, and I remember just walking into the park, and my mother say. Hey, Danny, do you want to do something that your best friends does? And I was like, of course, mom, I want to do that. You know, and you just have to imagine a three years old like this. Yes, mommy, I want to do that. Okay, but she didn't tell me why I was going to do it. You know, you just have to imagine me entering in a room full of girls with tutus, with pink colors, you know, and, and we dress like with tight clothes. I don't remember actually nothing, but I just imagine myself and I think it's quite funny, you know. And they told me to go because my mom told me to go because of my friends, but actually it has a deeper layer, you know. I had problems with my knees and my feet. Th I had, uh, if you know a bit of anatomy, it's when you, your knees go inside, you know, and also your feet goes inside. And then the doctor said, uh, we can do two solutions, you know, or you put your your kid to, to bike because that helped you to clean the position parallel or to swim, you know? And my mom was like, yeah, that's nice, you know, but I, I, I like also, my, my kid needs something else than not just physical activity, you know? And she thought, I think dancing can be cool because it helps you to really understand your proprioception of your body. Uh, and it also brings this creativeness, you know, Th this thinking outside of the box. And that's where my journey started in this artistic world. And that's how, thanks to, I, I'm a dancer, but a dancer is a person that it needs to be like, you know, th these guys that are in the Olympic games, right? It's an athlete, but it's also a creative, right? And you combine these two things and it becomes this huge movement, mover that brings also kind of ideas. And since then I have been dancing all the time, also playing with sounds, with music, with paintings, you know, I like to always combine a lot of creativeness and a lot of different skills. And as I create, I also love to show it, you know, because I believe that through my experience, it can really help and touch to other people. And I was the kid that in the school, you know, everyone was playing, my, my friends were playing football. I was like, why do I have to run <laughs> following a ball? You know, I thought that was the most stupid thing and sorry for the people who love football i know guys that <laughs> there's a huge fanatism about that but uh i don't like to football i love to think maybe let's decompose football and play it in a crazy way right or just make it more yeah just break the rules i think that's what an artist or at least i do and and yeah and then i was always dancing in the park i was really like just exploring playing, meeting my inner child. And, and today I would love you to start also bringing this art into your life, you know, and really appreciating it. But what's, what's art, you know? Wh what are those seven secrets why a life without art is not a life at all, you know? And then we will talk about these two steps, easy solutions that will make you, boom, change. The first one is I help to develop the entire brain, you know, that's something that you can actually take a look. It's called the Black Mountain College and it was a university that they were using art as a focus of the studies. And it's not that you need to just do mathematics or you just need to do uh, literature and, and languages. No, because then you use a small a small percentage of your brain. But what happened when you really add this creativeness at this art uh, perception, you know, and then is your brain 
being connected in all the aspects, you know, I need to also think about geometry, I need to also think about perception, I need to also about to think about contextualization, you know, and when you move, you also, art is what helps to connect all the dots and all the points. It's not just black and white, you see it all combined. Then al art allow uh, wants to use all of their senses, and that's a clear thing of, of not just being black and white, we really perceive the touch, perceive the colors, perceive the, the taste, you know, how observing something, it can allow me to have that taste. And art is everywhere, guys. You, you can find it when you are cooking, when you are cleaning, when you are walking. You just need to take the time to really absorb and to really understand that. That's the, s the secret number three, you know, is art has a whole spread social sense, you know. W thanks to art is when we can create these communities, this collective, you know, this union and exchange of energies, and that's what gives a lot of power. And if you stay at the end of this, this video, you know, and I hope you're enjoying it, I will give you something that I hope it's, it's going to change your life. And then we have the secret number four. Art, art gives people an appreciation of history and geography. And to start this thing, I would like to come up with when our Neanderthals, right? Uh, we were painting on the walls, right? We were dancing around the fire. It was a way always to communicate and exchange information. Now we have books. Books is could be, it's, we could say that it's also an artistic expression of the literature through our words, right? And through our typography, right? How how the monks, they were writing these Bibles, you know, and they were making art on that. Art is everywhere and it's being surrounded us. But we just need to really open and be accepted for that. Secret number five, okay, I'm trying to go fast because you can also read it and take more time on it. You know, art gives people the same feeling as looking at a loved one, you know. Every time that I see a performance, and actually we could comment now, you know, because how to consume art, you know. We are going through the steps, but I also want to refine how do I consume art, you know. For me, consuming art is a way of just sitting and seeing what's the situation in front of me and just letting it sink inside myself, letting it flow, letting it really travel and express what has to be expressed. Now I'm being surrounded by a microphone, by a laptop, by people recording me, by <laughs> Mariona checking the laptop, by you, the camera, right? And if you really take the time to take all those details and all these small uh, things that life offers, I you, you see that it's beauty, that it's magic, that it's unique, you know? And then now that how to consume art I would love to put the example, you know, you can go and, and stop the video, you know, and watch the video in the red house, you know, and see how this video does affect you. See how this video does interact with you, you know. I give you your time, but I already watch it. And I can say that, that we have Pietro. Pietro, can you come, please? Because I would like you to comment uh, <laughs> what you thought what you thought when you watch the, you need to go more lower to be visible in the car. You can go with your knees, man. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have always a team of people working with me. You need to go more in, more in, more in, more in. Yes, nice. Okay. Uh, with people that needs to understand how to consume art, you know, and they have my perception. What was for you when you watched the In the Red House? Yeah, um, hello, Danny. Hello, Pietro. If you don't know, he's the one who's helping us to bring finance. He's also playing the guitar, you know, and he's really enjoying a lot to be surrounded by artists, even if he never thought we w he will become an artist. That's true. Um, yeah, so for me, um, art has always been a far, far away world. Like, I've never... Uh, thought that I would myself um, be involved with art at any point of my life. 
and it was only um, later in my life, uh, I think uh, towards the end of my studies that I realized that I was really neglecting my, my emotional side and, and I started to look for a way in which I could express myself uh, in, in ways other than, um, than through numbers or sentences or you know, normal communication. And I think art was that channel that uh, allows you to kind of unleash your emotion in, in such a different way and, and more complete way. And that's what um, started to fascinate me about the, the world of art. Now, specifically on the um, Into the Woods, no, not in the, in the Red House. In the Red House. Into the, in the Red House video, um, yeah, I, at first I was like, this is not what I thought art is like. This is not what we are taught art should be. And I found it a bit disturbing at first because uh, you see, um, you hear strange sounds and you see strange things happen in the video and uh, so I, I started to wonder whether I um, whether that was art at all and whether um, maybe I had a wrong perception of art so um, I think the process is uh, is really try to take a step back and say you know what is art really and when you start asking around and in this case um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by artists who can explain um, patiently to me what, in their opinion, art is. And, and that's when I started to realize that art really is nothing else than the expression of emotions. And so instead of looking for things that are beautiful, um, one should try to see, um, try to understand what emotions are triggered when you look around you, uh, around yourself. And that's the, uh, the exercise that I then try to do while looking at, uh, at the video in the red house. You know, you're like, what am I feeling when looking at this, when listening to this? And that all of a sudden becomes a completely different exercise from the uh, art consumption that we're used to, which is simply, all right, take a look and f you know see something that and, and judge. You know that that's that's what you're, we're used to do, just giving your opinion and judging uh, whether you like it or not. Plain and simple. Do you like it? Yes. Do, do, you, like do you like it? it? No. Yeah. But then is when we enter in that dualism brain set, right? That that's something that I want also to tell later. But now you said about the emotions and. Also, I want to talk more how to consume our, everything that we perceive is just a reflection of our inside, right? And now I want to know what, did, um, what emotions did you perceive when you were watching the In the Red House? Because we have here also our composer that did this music. And when we interview him, he told about uh, music can be a, a, a simulator of emotions. You know, and I thought, yeah, music and art, it's just a simulator of emotions. And I thought, wow, this sentence is really powerful. And what kind of emotions did it come when you saw in the Red House? Yeah, so as I said, it, I had to listen to it several times before I could let myself go and, and let myself be touched by the piece. Uh, at first, it was just, this is disturbing and uh, I don't like it I reject it this is not what art is for me and um, and after a few times you start to basically from something that is far away and alien almost like these sounds are not human why why do I have to do anything with this uh, and slowly um, you know you relax your ears and you relax your your thoughts and you let your your brain kind of absorb and 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 let the music kind of play with your brain and with your feelings and with your emotions so um yeah man i think that's that's that, that's that, that, that's that's how it works now yeah i do remember um you know when you listen to to that piece you just feel like you're being transported and and kind of the, the, the music takes you to, to places, also dark places maybe, not necessarily pla places that are beautiful, 
And I think the video where you are dancing kind of also helps uh, with, the, um, with the understanding what emotions uh, are triggered or that the piece is supposed to trigger. Obviously, I think you agree that your, your dance is not like beautiful per se, but it's kind of also fighting and try to yeah. trigger something. But also like the, the, perception of the perception of beauty is also something really subjective. And I find it really beautiful what I'm seeing, you know, but also I see the beauty in all the imperfections and all the other kind of uh, small things that normal people doesn't perceive because they don't give the time and the uh, value. But exactly, so we're like, what is beauty then? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Is it aesthetics or? But then, tell me, did it change your life when you really saw this, this video? Did, did it trigger something on you? I think the video per se, no. But the video combined with the work, the mental work that had to go into it, into changing my perspective of how do I consume art, then that becomes a life-changing kind of experience. But that's that's a point, you know, because art is not easy, you know, it's not like Netflix, it's not like something easy to consume. You really need to put yourself and a lot of effort on, and that's why it's not something popular, you know, because normally we don't like hard working, right? We always like this idea that make a lot of money without doing anything, became the most strongest one. Like, this is fake, guys, doesn't exist, it's bullshit, you know, but Thanks to art and thanks to really uh, start consuming art that what we offer now that you are entered here is to just go to our YouTube channel and see different kind of artists, you know? Don't just create your dualistic brain, black and white, you know, what I want is this, that that's what social media does. They give you what you want and that's it. And they keep you fitting you and just shut up, just keep consuming. We don't want to know anything about you, just your money. And that's what we don't want to predicate. What we want you is to really get all these different inputs from different artists and start make your own personal work as he did and just reflect it. And now, because he also joined uh, the Super Artist Mind, you know, because there's the step two that is a start creating art, you know? What kind of art did you create or produce that made you a change on you? Yeah, so as I said, I'm not an artist. I don't, def I, I'm not trained to feel my emotions and to um, express my emotion through pieces of art. Like that's not something I've ever been uh, trained to do. So as I was looking for, um, for an experience that would help me um, get started in my artistic expression, I think the super artist mind is, is like it, that, um, that step that switched my mind from art is something I don't know and I, I would never know how to deal with to all right, this is the process that I'm supposed to go through. It's not easy, it's not immediate, it takes work, mental work uh, primarily, um, a lot of reflection on yourself and, and, and on what you want to express and how you want to express it. But the yeah. super artist mind through its modules did start to help me think in those terms. Self-reflect, feel my emotions, express my emotions through, well, dance. And through also producing painting, right? Because exactly. we also paint and we saw your creation and you had the, the, the pleasure to dance the, the painting of another person, right? That, that's something that it's these small things that help you to create and with the super artist mind, we open the doors to make this more easy, you know? But for the ones who doesn't know what's a super artist mind, don't stress, I will talk later. But I think we are almost finishing this one page, you know? You can always go, you know, through and brainstorm and think, okay, how much art do I consume every day, right? Or how much art do I create? Or how do I think uh, I consume art, you know? And what we are saying, you know? What we want is to create uh, critical thinking, you know? Don't tell me I have the reason. No one has the reason. What we want is to be to make people that became critical, that really know what they want, and that they also open a lot of options, you know? And they will never say, no, this is not, no. 
just give it a try, just take it, just absorb it. I also recommend you to just watch Flirting, that it's more kind of commercial, let's say it has a much better music, uh, more catchy music and also more cool movements, but then you can also take a look into the good, just enjoy this moment with us, absorbing that, taking your time. And finishing the two last secrets, you know, um, as you said, you know, uh, it experiences you to the feelings, you know, without words. You don't need to use words or yes, it depends in which uh, discipline, but it's a place of exploring. I would say yourself. in a non-conventional way. Yeah. We, we are human, so since we're born, we're taught how to talk in words, but very few of us um, really train er, or have the natural inclination to express our feelings through movement, through strikes of a pen, through colors, through you know, so many disciplines. Of course, of course. Uh, and yeah, I think if you really like what we were talking and what we were doing, uh, you can always go and go to our YouTube channel and watch more videos, but we want to offer you an a special offer. We have the drive where we all meet there and more people are around the world and artists and creative people. And we want to offer you a month that you try it for free. And there you can really uh, start asking for questions, going more in depth of what we are doing. And if you also could be interested on in trying the super artist mind and giving more effort into you, and into your research, just join it. It's for free. You don't lose anything. You you are not. If you don't like it, you just enroll, and that's it. And we use actually Discord as a platform where we communicate. That that makes it super easy for you. And then you will start see the humans that we are behind. It's not gonna be just more emails and more things like this. No, you can ask directly to any uh, one of us. And um, and also, if you wanna comment more things about. Uh, the things that we are talking about, the secrets, you know, why Why did they call it secrets, you know? It, they are not secrets, but uh, it's, it's obvious, but if more people could know them and could realize about them, maybe more people, we will live in a society full of art, full of people that consume art and create art, and this is not happening right now, and we have other struggles like food and home, right? And we as artists, what we want is to really fix those struggles to be able to give the space to understand, grow as a human being, get that happiness that we all want, you know? And you can do it already for free, just watching art that we are producing for you guys. I think we just finished this one page, just go through, check it, and if you have maybe something that you wanna add. Uh, no, I, I think the tribe is great. Um, it's worth a shot. In particular, in combination with the super artist mind, it's it really allows you to yes do a lot of work on yourself, but also get out there, ask for feedback, and give feedback. And the tribe is the place where you can do that. On the super artist mind, it's, I think it's great to to the super artist mind is great, but also it's even better when you are able to confront your work with other people's work. And the tribe is the place for for doing exactly that. And uh, what I wanted to say was also the tribe meets regularly. Yesterday, uh, or two days ago, I missed the, the tribe meeting. You missed the tribe How meeting. How did that go? It went really nice. Actually, we were with Jacob and Mariona. We were just the three of us. But we talk about uh, art in the street. You know how you can be a street artist and keep living your life. Also, we, we push Mariona to start taking some pictures that she has to do, you know? And it's, I think uh, we all have things to do, you know, in our life, and we will want to achieve uh, goals, right? And as you, it doesn't matter if you are an artist or you are not an artist, what we want in this tribe is to have people like us that they want to help you, you know, and they're gonna say, hey, did you do that? Are you gonna do this? Let's go, do you need help? I can help you. Oh, I have. I want to do this creation, man. I want to do it, you know? And then it's like, oh, I'm a dancer. Maybe we can combine it and help each other. Or maybe when it's gonna be the, the time that you're gonna create the video, eh? I think that's, th that's gonna happen, I'm pushing them, pushing him <laughs> into the tribe, you know? And he go he's gonna create something artistic for you. But thank you, just enjoy it and just get into the tribe, contact us, uh, you don't lose anything and explore this one page. Thank you very much.